right, good morning, everybody. It is um, hmm, Sunday, January 22nd, I think, and I'm back at the Lake Ontario waterfront where I made a video a few weeks ago showing you a lot of the pebbles I've been collecting over the years uh, where I've cut and polished them and also showing you some ruins, I believe to be old world ruins along the shoreline. And I've been standing here, I've been collecting a few more <laughs> rocks for today. And um, I've been standing here for about 10 minutes trying to figure out whether I should make a video and I finally just decided to make it. I don't wanna sound redundant, even though uh, I do that a lot. Um, but I just wanna show you why I think that former previous civilizations, previous times built not only with brick, but also with cinder block type building materials. So we have right here a nice pile of old rubble, okay? And yeah, not sure how these uh, just rolled in with the waves. Pretty interesting. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, but you can see that there's clearly some old cinder block like material, building material, okay? And some of these hunks are more transition than others so you can still see that uh, those I think definitely were cinder blocks at one point but they're really pebbling out okay and right here uh, this lovely piece is clearly uh, beginning to transition a little bit okay and then we've got this number so to me this looks like it could have also been cinder blocks okay however they're really busting out okay the rocks are really popping out of here. All right, and then if you look at this side, there's some, there's a nice doozy showing itself right there. Oopsies. Um, and then there's some more on the other side there. So, and of course, you've got so much old wolf typing going on here. It's just, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I, uh, yeah, and yeah, and this just rolled in with the waves, I guess, right? <laughs> you take the age of this tree, uh, you take the age of that tree that's been that's fallen down. Okay, that must be several hundred years old. Doing the math on that diameter, uh, it's it's ridiculous. Like this just wasn't brought in and landscaped with machines. I do not believe, you know, in, in my lifetime certainly. And if you take the age of some of these other trees along the shoreline down there, okay, that one looks like it's. I've been measuring the age of trees a lot lately. It's probably 130 years old or so, that one right there, okay? Where there's more rubble coming out of the bank there. And uh, according to the narrative, 130 years ago or so, what, 1800, this area of Ontario was <laughs> allegedly nothing but, you know, a small little village. And uh, so it, it just, it doesn't add up. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, show you this. I think I've mentioned this before, that I do really believe from my, findings along this lake that absolutely brick was used but absolutely I do feel uh, from what I'm finding that larger gray looking cinder block building pieces were used as well and there's evidence of both undergoing transformation through electrical heat or, or whatever event took place as you can see some metal coming up here sorry I just lost my thought as I was uh, looking around here and of course you've got this lovely number okay <laughs> rocks busting out all over the place you can still see a nice indentation of what looks like it may have been uh, a cinder block type of shape just like this guy right above it here yeah big waves all right one more thing I found what I was looking for last time uh, but before I show you that I just want to show you some of this awesome old world pieces metal here. That's nuts, eh? I love that. And uh see the size of it. And we have some of these numbers sticking out again. Don't bring your kids down here if they're gonna be running around. There's a lot of uh pointy metal bits all over the place that could give a good skewer. Anyway this looks like maybe an old set of stairs. Something going on here. It just looks like your classic old concrete that's still everywhere around um, non-upgraded, you know, homes and properties. <laughs> pretty much everywhere you look, which I love. Hiding in plain sight, but check here. There's some brick still attached to this piece right here. These old stairs. Okay. There. Just a little hunks right there. Okay. Not fully transitioned. And here's a yellow 
brick or brick that's transitioned to yellow. Not quite to this concrete looking stuff. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is fully attached. Just a quick one. It's fully attached to this piece. Neat, eh? Love that. This gold metal. Huh. Nuts. All right. And look at this. This is really rocking out. It's amazing. This is an awesome piece. These are all the types of stones I love to collect. Cut and polish and appreciate. All right, one more thing. I just want to show you a cool piece of metal on this lovely hunk right here. Okay. So there's another one of these. It looks like um, looks like an end of a, almost like a fire poker that we have at our fireplace at the cottage. And it's kind of like oval, swirly, um, coiled metal. The, the metal just disappearing in there. Hey, day. There's metal here. There's metal here. And one piece of metal there, there, right here. So much of it all over the this side here. Still see some bits of lines of metal. <laughs> That's a short piece right there. It really is just incredible how it's just sitting right here. The much where you step. Oh. Oh, look at this. I love this piece. This has been in one or two videos before. I'll show you again. Look at this beauty. Isn't that wonderful? God. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right. Oniva. All right, just one more thing. This may have been in my last video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Just walking back to the car. I think I show, I've shown this uh, wall coming right out of the bank of the, the lake here, okay? Who knows where this is coming from? There's a whole bunch of these all along, all, all along the edge here. No written history of this. Um, but when you look, you know, when you look deep underneath here, where it's coming right out of the ground, you see red brick. A few red bricks, a bunch of red bricks, and you see this gray cinder block looking number and then more transition material right here. So I think that both types of building material are, are, uh, are what we're finding. Okay. And then just when you walk along here, it just keeps popping out of the soil here. Bricks just don't quit. Okay. It's seriously nuts. Okay. Nuts. There. See? They haven't even come out yet. Still, they've just been exposed. <laughs> Amazing, eh? And then if, like, you know, you take the age of that tree right there, you know, people might say, oh, this was probably just a road at one point or, you know, a, a something at one point. Okay. But when you start taking the age of, say, that tree, it's a black spruce, it looks like, okay, or this one, which looks like maybe an oak, okay, you take the diameter of that and then apply the growth factor, you're going to find that these trees would predate any, you know, massive undertaking to turn this into a grand boulevard along Lake Ontario. It just doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> And then, well, here's, here's a piece right here. I should go back and get my measuring tape. Okay, take the diameter of that and do the math. Who knows how long it's been cut for. Okay, that's obviously grown over when this shoreline, um, like the shoreline, I think must predate this tree. That's what I'm trying to say. So, for what it's worth, just showing you around. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.